Um, Hello. Hello, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Hi. Perfect. Hi, welcome. <laughs> Sorry for that. Oh, don't worry about it. It's good to have you. Thank you for joining Six me. Six months are cars. Hi, I keep um, meeting. This is a how, thing how's your day? A thing for Twitch well, I, 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 I was today? working, actually. Six love. Okay. Because, uh, yeah, yeah I, wa I wanted to modify some levels in Unbound, so that's, uh, that, that, that's what I was doing right now. All right, cool. Nice. So, yeah. um, how, how do we do this? First of all, we should probably introduce you, right? I, I hope I yeah. pronounced this correctly, but I, I think you're Sergio, is that right? Is that right? Yeah. Perfect, because I actually watched a video <laughs> on YouTube about the pronunciation of your name. <laughs> so, <laughs> perfect. Um, thank you for being here. You are one of the d developers of Unbound Worlds Apart. Um, what, what exactly do you do? Yeah, so I'm charged with uh, game design okay, and programming as well and marketing and yeah, because when you are an indie game developer, you have to wear multiple hats uh, right. and you have to do, yeah, you have to do lots of things. Uh, yeah, as, uh, I started programming, but now I'm doing marketing and <laughs> all that stuff. Because there's not yeah. a lot of people working on that game probably you're a small team i would assume so everybody yeah, has we, to do a lot of we things. are three people we are three people now only know, three working. only three people yes wow but we managed we managed to get uh, additional work uh, additional people to work uh, on the game okay yes. and yeah and now i think we are like seven yeah so two programmers and uh, the rest are uh, artists <laughs> To do art for the game okay that's cool yeah so so it's it's going well basically and and you could grow your team which sounds like a good thing yeah uh we we did receive some unreal funds uh in 2018 and this year as well and we also did a kickstarter uh last year so we managed to uh, get some money mm -hmm. Uh, and yeah, we basically expand our team just to make the, the game the best uh, we can. And hopefully everybody will have an awesome experience with it. That's perfect. I'm really glad yeah. you, got the, you got the money to actually make this work. Because I, I haven't played a lot yet, but I really like what I saw. That's also why, why I agreed to have you here basically and show, showcase this game. Because I think it looks really amazing already. It's very promising. But... Yeah, so we put we put uh, the demo uh, together. I mean, we assembled it uh, for this March. So mm -hmm. it's like it's been like four months since we launched this demo. And actually, now we are working on new content. So what you see in Prologue basically is not going to be in the full game. We redesigned maps story so when you when you are going to f to play the full game you will have a different experience okay yeah so is this not going to be in the game at all uh just some parts okay we, we kept the characters and some small areas but the rest of the game or the prologue was redesigned okay that's pretty cool Actually, yeah. I like that. So people who want to play this now, so the prologue is free, so everybody can just go to Steam, check it out. But that means it's not really a spoiler then or anything. No, it's good. not. <laughs> good, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> yeah. um, so you're from Alien Pixel Studios, I should probably mention that as well. And in, in case of, uh, people just joined, we're talking about Unbound Worlds Apart. You can already see it on my stream. And it's a Metroidvania p uh, puzzle platformer 2D game that's coming out next year, or is planned to come out next year. I hope uh, COVID yeah. is not delaying that too much. Do you have any issues with that? Uh, yeah, we actually we had an office uh, here in Bucharest, in Romania. And mm -hmm. when the pandemic uh, hit our country, not very hard like other countries, but it, it pretty we went in quarantine and something like that. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and uh, we had to uh, like 
stay home and uh, yeah. But actually, quite surprising the uh, the um, the productivity uh, is better now. <laughs> I would assume you're working from home now, right? Yeah. So yeah. basically, we did like. Uh, just to go to the office, I will make two hours mm -hmm. on the road. So that's time that I can uh, invest in the game. Yeah, that's know? good, actually. Yeah. Great. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm, I'm glad that everything's going as planned, basically, with, with the game. That's good. Yeah. So, um, yeah, uh, we plan to launch it in Q2, like May, yeah. maybe. Okay. Yeah. Uh, next year. May. Very good. Everybody, yeah, get maybe. your calendars. <laughs> Write it down. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Um, so the the prologue has been free to play now since March this year. Do you plan exactly. on on adding any more free content before that as a promotion, or is it going to be the prologue for now, and then it's going to be the full release in let's say May? Uh, we haven't we haven't think about it. Okay. Maybe we can, we can launch uh, new maps because in the prologue, you said that it's Metro, Metroidvania, but mm -hmm. uh, actually in prologue, you don't get any ability. So yes. it's just the character and his jump, and that's all you have. But you have the portals. Indeed. And they yeah, play a big role. Yeah, and they change your mechanic and something like that. But in the full game, you also have abilities like double jump, which is permanent, and mm -hmm. you can use it with uh, the portals in combination with the portals. Oh, you nice. also have dash uh, ability. Uh, we are also planning to add some warp time. It's, it's really hard, actually, because um, we don't have fighting, per se, in the game, mm -hmm. you know? And you all... You have portals, and we have to find clever ways to fight monsters and bosses with the portals and just some abilities. And without hitting the boss with, with your character, it's really, really a challenge for us to design the game. Yeah, I can imagine. So there, there are going to be boss fights, but not really have... fights, because you don't need to Yeah, fight. you. you uh, we have a few bosses now in the game, so basically they uh, they try to sh shoot at you, for example, and yes. you have and you have to use the portal and make them shoot themselves or something like that. <laughs> oh, okay, I like it. So you have yeah. to get creative to to, to kill them. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Yes. We that... also have a, a portal that transforms you in a box. So with the box, you can kill monsters. Yes. And you can hit the uh, monsters. So uh, we we had to think uh, around uh, how can you kill monsters but without weapons. Of course, yeah. So use the environment, probably. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, I like that. That's not. It's not straightforward. It's good. It's not. Yes. I'm. I'm looking and... forward to that. It's great. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. It's a bit hard as well to to kill them, so maybe we need to add extra lives. We don't know yet. We have to play test it more to see how user test uh, how users will behave. Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, it's too frustrating or it's too easy. We have to we have to see basically. Yeah. Do, yeah. So you you play test yourself, right? And and everybody else on the team, I would assume. But do you uh, also yeah, have? Course people not working on the game to play test it but, uh, but who yes. basically go in blind because you know what to expect right yeah basically we have uh, our friends but not our closest friends we have like um friends friends that are also haters <laughs> <laughs> yeah the, yeah because um uh, friends they say they are afraid to say ai sucks or something like that because... yeah yeah, no, understandable, right? Because they, yeah. they want you to succeed and they don't want to hurt you. So they probably say, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, and But we also have friends that work uh, in other game companies like Gameloft or uh, Ubisoft or something like that. And they know that they if they, uh, does, they don't give the right feedback, 
the game will not be uh, good enough. Of course. So yeah, so so they are really mean with us. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, being really mean is probably not the best way, but giving constructive feedback that'd be yeah, that'd be good, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Just a second, because I have um, a queue open where people can ask questions or chat can ask questions. Um, yeah, I can see it on the screen as well. Okay, perfect. And someone already asked <laughs> who who had the idea with the spiders? Because we saw, we, we just looked at the pictures earlier that are on Steam and, yeah. and there is a spider and I'm afraid of okay. spiders and I always complain if there are spiders on games. Someone asked, <laughs> um, a theorem actually asked um, who whose idea was that? Oh, oh my god, this game is full of spiders. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. Yeah, we, we have spiders and you have to find creative ways to kill them. But okay. um, the idea the idea came actually so we had multiple games that inspired us to to make this game. So mm -hmm. one of them is Limbo. Oh, that's a great one. Yeah, and they had like those huge spiders and yeah. I yeah, I, I said uh, that works with uh, our game and our style, and we can find clever ways for the spiders. No, absolutely. Actually, we have, yeah, we have lots of monsters that, when we started designing the game, they are like a cute little monster, but now they are like abominations <laughs> and spiders, and they are a bit gross and gore. You know? It's, I, it's okay it, though, it like makes... it makes for a good atmosphere. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We, feel, we felt at the beginning that the game, mm, it, it, it's, it's cute, but we don't want to be the cutest game. <laughs> right. So that's why we, we make the, the monster more fierce and uh, ugly. I get it. Understandable. Yeah. Um, so you mentioned that the prologue is somewhat separate from the regular game. Would you still recommend playing the prologue to understand the story better? Asked by Felbia. We, we, we changed the story quite a lot. So basically what happened, we, I, I think this version we have now, it's like our fifth version of the story. We okay. weren't happy with, uh, but, uh, well, it's like this. We, we first came with the mechanics and after that with the story. Yeah. Yeah, because having only a game with mechanics, doesn't drive you to finish the game. It's like, uh, okay, I do this and this and this and that, but what's my motivation to finish the game? Mm -hmm. So you have to add a story to tie everything uh, together, you know? And uh, we had some ideas, we we didn't like them, and eventually end up with an idea for the prologue, which, um, which was also expanded in the full game. And Basically, because we are not from England and we are not we are not native speakers, and mm -hmm. we don't have the required skills to do a, a beautiful story, people kind of give us negative reviews in the in the Steam, and okay. they say that okay, the story is meh, it's not great, it's not terrible. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and after we, we we got this feedback, we said, wait a minute, we have to make this really, really cool because yeah. uh, it's an atmospheric game. So we decided to work with uh, uh, someone from England. It's, his name is uh, Dave Cook, and he's, he basically helped us with uh, writing the whole story now. Okay, that's and, good. And, and it turns out to be really, really amazing. Yeah, so so that's why the prologue it's it, it's not uh, it's not the story that we currently yeah. have in the full game. But so but, I, I checked out the the reviews and overall, so all reviews on Steam are overwhelmingly positive. Yeah, and I, and then the yeah. recent ones are I think very positive. Yeah, very positive. Mm -hmm. But I think it's great that you actually read those reviews and then. Like change the game to what people want, yeah, um, yeah, and and try to to make it better. Basically, that's really good. But yeah, to, to, are... to, yeah, go, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, I, I was uh, so people that left uh, negative reviews, uh, they wrote like 
not to discourage us, but to help uh, improve yeah. the game. Yeah, 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 that's good. So, so they, they wrote like a, a full novel there in the review. It's, well, that's perfect. They, if you read them, they are really huge. And actually, that's good feedback. Yeah, so we read each review and try to see if uh, we filter them, of course, because mm -hmm. some some are just mean and actually don't. Of course, and if it's just yeah. me, I don't like the game, that's not really helping. Exactly. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but some people put lots of effort to tell us what they didn't like about the game and what should we do to improve them. Yeah. And they are they are actually right, so it's worth considering their feedback. So that's why we try to get uh, the writer, and he helped us develop the story quite quite nicely. Yeah, that's that's perfect. So to answer yeah. the question, basically, the prologue is there to show everybody uh, like the art style of the game, how yeah. the basic mechanics work with a portal. Mm -hmm. But you don't need to play it to really know what's happening in the game. Then it's just to show you this is basically the concept of Unbound. Um, Wish list it if you like it, probably, and then wait wait for the full release. Uh, yes, exactly. <laughs> well, it's we, we kept the characters in the full game, but mm -hmm. they, we changed the dialogue and everything. So, what you, you are going to read here is not anymore okay. in the full game. Yeah, I mean that's but, all right. Uh, it kind of set set uh, the setting is the same in the full game. So, you start okay. from here. Probably we will have more cutscenes to emphasize the story a bit but uh yeah yeah okay cool uh shall we just oh i start the game yeah and, and we'll have a look and you just feel free to talk about stuff if you want exactly okay all right i'm starting I a new game yes uh, i will stop you if i need to explain something but if absolutely you are, yes if you're uh if the people have any questions i would like to answer them as well Absolutely, yeah. Feel free to uh, chat to use the yes. exclamation mark Q and then follow your question. Um, we'll get to you. Um, yeah. So just just for explanation, I, I start a new game. I've played a couple minutes during Steam Game Festival because there were lots of demos um, from indie oh, yeah. games. <laughs> and so yes. I checked out Inbound because it looked really amazing, but I only played like a couple minutes. Because mm -hmm. when, I, when I know that I like a game, I don't want to play the demo for it. Because I just want to wait for the full game then. But since you said this is not going to be in the game anyway, so I'm, I'm good. It's perfect. Yeah, we totally changed that. Alright, so this is us. Does the character have a name? Uh, his name is Soli from Solitude. Ah, okay, cool. Soli. Yeah. We're basically like Soli. Candle. <laughs> That's cute. It's very cute. Yeah, we actually have... We have the... Um... The, the story now has uh, a reason why it's like a candle. <laughs> okay, I like so it. So everything will explain that in the full game. Yeah. So basically now it's just a tutorial game, a tutorial map. Mm -hmm. It's teach you how to, to jump. Yeah, so I can, I can jump and then I would assume that this is the portal, but I don't have it yet. Yeah. <laughs> And here, some mages wanted to do a ceremony. All right. Well, let's just talk to them. Oh, Soli. Yeah. There you are. Also, now now I know. <laughs> I was just too impatient. Now we know our name. The ceremony will start any minute, and we cannot find your brother. I'm sure he's behind the wall looking for herbs. He has never been late for our rites. Soli, could you find him? Give us a hand so that we may begin. We cannot start the incantation without him. Okay, so we go to the wall, find our brother. Yeah, yeah. So the brother is now uh, in the full story. <laughs> yep, that's all right. Yeah. All right. He starts the the explanation of basic mechanics. Yeah, jumping, uh, switching letters, pushing and pulling. And here is a cutscene where, uh, where where the town is invaded by a uh, evil creature. Yeah. That's still in the story, but uh, uh, 
it's it's great. It's we going we are going to explain it very nicely. Mm -hmm. Oh, I already got an achievement. Survive the catastrophe. That that wasn't difficult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are there going to be more achievements in the in the full game? Uh, of course, yes. Perfect, we, I love it. We have we have like really really uh, hard parts in the full game that are optional. Yes. And you basically get achievements if you do them. Perfect. I, I love yeah. achievements. So that's great. <laughs> yeah, everybody loves achievements, right? Well, I actually I actually know a couple of people who don't really mind. Okay. Like they're okay mm -hmm. with getting achievements, but they don't go hunting for them. But yeah. Okay. Welcome. So we found a, like a, a almost dead person here. The, the the portal. It's pure evil. Those accursed abominations have seeped into our world. A few of our people managed to escape the attack. Find them, Soli. Find them before it's too late. I I will. Yeah, so basically you return to the city and you see that it's uh, destroyed. Mm -hmm. Oh god, oh god, there's a spider. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, I'll try to not scream. <laughs> okay. I really like the music, by the way. It's very... I, 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 I don't know. F foreboding, dark, kind of, oh yeah. <laughs> Kiri for dialogue reader, theronym. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, press LB to toggle the portal. Um, by the way, I'm playing with a controller. Is it recommended? Like, what do you play with if you play this? I, I'm a keyboard player, sorry. <laughs> but but, people, I mean, that's okay. You, no need to apologize. That's all right. It's just... Yeah, uh, people, people, I mean, uh, they used to uh, to play platformers and uh, this kind of game with uh, controls. So we definitely, yeah. Uh, needed to add the, the controller to the game yeah 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 but like... i usually play i usually play on a keyboard because i'm also programming so it's it would be hard for me to switch between keyboard and uh gamepad yeah. all, all the time okay yeah. no no i understand <laughs> but I, I like to play platformers metroidvania games always with a controller it's just more i don't know it feels better but then mm -hmm. I also don't have to switch between keyboard and controller all the time, so it makes sense. Yeah. All right, so I found the shard, which makes like gives me the ability to use a portal, and it changes the world around me. Yeah. Uh, so the game will basically have. Uh, so in this demo, we're going to have three portals. Each portal gives you an ability. This is the first portal, which uh, shows you uh basically switches between world and affects the environment mm -hmm. yeah. but you'll see that we are going to have another portal that gives you another ability all right so yeah we'll get to that but yeah nanosphere there's no full damage true yeah uh, now you see to the right damage... there's go ahead yeah full damage in platformers is not a good thing because you don't know the distance Maybe it's yeah. two meters when you die, maybe it's three meters. So you, it's very hard to approximate the distance in platformers. So it's better if you don't die from distance. Absolutely. I mean, in general, it's better if you don't die, right? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, I, I like that there is no fall damage, certainly. And that always is blocked by a boulder in this world. But if I use the portal, it's gone. So basically, you use your portal to change the environment and and see different things exactly so this is the, the the default portal so this mechanic is not actually new it's been used by other games like wakamidi okay like switching the switching things but what uh, how unbound stands out from the crowd it's because each portal gives you another ability but this is the just the default one. It, mm -hmm. teach you, it teaches you to open and close the portal and do some basic stuff. Yeah, I really like it. I haven't played a game before that that uses that ability. Oh no! No, I haven't. Yeah, there, there are a few. I think there's a, also the shooter Titanfall has some parts uh, where you can switch between realities. So okay. it's Jana, Jana sisters. Also, it's 
the game where you can switch. Yeah, so like three or four games that I also now know, but uh, in a way we are not inspired by them. I I actually haven't played them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. Okay, so here we see the first monster creature. And I know what you mean yeah. now when you said that you want them to look a bit more more scary, more creepy. Like a monstrosity. Yeah. It looks it looks great, like bad but great. Okay, we've yeah, got... we Yeah, in the go, go in the full game we, we are going to redesign them a bit, like add more details to them and make them more juicy. Mm -hmm. You know? Because now Even more they are... so, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Add more particles, add more okay, drawings yeah. to them. Yeah, make them much more alive and uh, juicy is the word. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah. We've got a question. The landscape is beautiful and there are a lot of interesting animations. Could you talk about system requirements? Like, will you be able to play this game on a weaker system too? It's currently working on Switch because we want to launch the game on Switch as well. Okay, that's but, great. Yeah, but what well, I saw that it's because it's made in Unreal Engine and it uh, needs a, a little bit of horsepower for the PCs and computers. And I saw that if you don't have an integral, uh, how do I say, uh, a graphics card, a dedicated graphics card, mm -hmm. then you might have some problems. So if you are running on a laptop with an integrated graphics card, like Intel, okay, you so, have so some problems. Okay, so basically you need yeah. you need a separate gra graphics card. Yeah. yeah, that's that's the best, and that's because, it, yeah, it's a two D game, but being made in Unreal Engine, mm -hmm. and the the engine uh, needs power. <laughs> of course, for, yeah. To to run the game, yeah. And we have lots of layers of art, and that's why we need the. We don't need the. The powerful GPU from the market, like a GPU from six or seven years ago, it's actually quite good. Okay. To run the game, yeah. Yeah. So basically, so a weaker need... system is fine. You just need a graphics card. So probably not a laptop. But yeah, yeah. If if you have a PC, you should probably run it. Yeah. So that, that's a great game for the Switch. It is, so, yes. That's playing where playing we with the controller, to... yes. <laughs> yeah. That's where we hope to uh, that people will play the game, actually. Not not, uh, not on Steam, but if you want to play it on Steam, it's actually good on PC as well mm -hmm. to play. Yeah, right. We found a new person. Oh, Soli, I'm so glad to see you again. You are alive and well. We found this enchanted place while we were trying to escape. Magic. Looks like magic is forbidden here. Here, take this map. I'm sure that it will guide you through your journey. Yes, basically people who survived oh, the yeah. catastrophe uh, mm -hmm. gather here and they are trying to to see how what happened actually. Yeah, of course. So now you have a quest. It's displayed uh, with those bubbles. Yeah, mm -hmm. find a fragment. Yeah. yeah. And I can teleport to monuments, but I probably haven't found one yet, right? Yeah, it's if you walk a bit, uh, there's a new guy who right, will one. give you the quest. Yeah. yeah. I trust you have noticed this mysterious monolith behind me. It does not seem to present any danger, at least so far. But we need to see what lies beyond its doors. We cannot be sure, but it might hold the key to explain the disaster that has befallen us. The key seems to have been broken into two fragments. They should be around here. Will you search for them? Absolutely, we're going to search for them. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, what what choices do you have, right? I know, right? So this is the the obligatory quest giver, basically. But other than that, you can't really do anything else. So of course we're going to yeah. do it. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, sticky. So, uh, yeah, you can climb there. Yeah. And who are you? Ah, oh, you startled me. I'm so caught up in trying to figure out more about this ancient structure. In my companion, it says something about fast travel. I wonder how it works. 
Maybe we can find more? Yeah. Okay. We also have teleporters on the map because the, the map will be huge and you don't want to backtrack. <laughs> of course, yes. Yeah. So now the, the game will become a bit uh, more complex. Um, more... Not, not complex, but uh, harder. Okay, yeah. I can use my portal again. Yeah. I would assume that, that that's not nice water, is it? Whew. Yeah, right. it's red. <laughs> yeah. And you have to go to the right first. I wanted to. Yeah. Uh, because I want to show you the other portal. Oh, yeah, yeah, here, here to the right, of course, yeah. Okay, so now we found two waypoints, now we can fast travel, got it. Who are you? Finally, a familiar face. This portal holds a mysterious power. Please, watch your head. You don't want to hurt yourself. With a new portal, maybe you can find the door fragment. Should be around here. Oh. Okay. Now I'm walking on the ceiling. Why does it do that? Why... Why do I do that? Oh, is it because I went through the portal? Wait a second. He can't hear me anymore, that's bad. We've got issues. Now I can hear you. Okay, hi, welcome back. <laughs> Maybe I have some internet problems. I can hear you fine now though, so if you can hear me again, that's that's alright. Yeah, I can, now I can. Okay, um, I was asking why I'm now stuck to the ceiling. Is it because I went through that portal and now, or through the, through the arch and now my ability behaves differently? Yeah. Cool. So that that uh gate we we call them gates uh mm -hmm. alter alter alterates the portal so the portal the default portal became this one yes that's pretty awesome yeah and that's timed and you have to be fast <laughs> yeah ouch yeah um if you fall to the left if you go to the left here yeah. in this in this pit, uh, uh, there's a guy you you can save. As soon as the portal opened, all the creatures barged in. What about your brother? Did you find your brother? Yeah, but basically this. Uh, uh... Oh no! Do we have internet trolls again? Hello, Sergio. Yeah, it seems like he has, he has issues. Pretty sure he's going to join again. Uh, sorry, Sue, that, that confused you. You're in the call right now. Yeah, me too. Me too. We've got Sergio here from um, Alien Pixel Studios. One of the developers of this game. But apparently we have a couple of difficulties here. But how do, you, how do you like it so far? You think it's looking very good? It is, isn't it? It looks like the art style looks cute, but still it's... Also a bit menacing, especially with the with the sound. Okay, I'm gonna We're just gonna try again, leaving the call. Maybe it's... Okay, I'm gonna host it again. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, Sergio? Doesn't look good. Uh-oh. Internet, it, it does give you trouble, but we still need internet, right? 
it does throw them especially if the if the gates uh, ge oh, just change the ways your portal work that's pretty amazing flame of flood kills yeah doesn't work okay um don't don't okay i'm gonna try again now you. hello perfect i hear you yeah. do you hear me Yes, I can. Okay. I hate the internet. I have to change it. <laughs> yeah, it, it happens. Don't worry about it, though. If, if we lose connection again, I will notice because you don't say anything, and then we just we just try okay, to fix yeah. it. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I was telling that uh, we have uh, people, uh, I mean, characters like this, uh, gather through, uh, through the devil. And you mm -hmm. have to save them. And they they'll give you extra story bits and some awesome things. That's great. Yeah. So they they're going to reveal more of the story and. Uh, oh god! Oh god! <clears throat> they are basically like collectibles, you know. Yes. Uh, that was scary. Is it? <laughs> It was it was scary for me, but that's not difficult. Like I I get scared easily. I just wasn't expecting that thing to become bigger. Uh, this uh, this master uh, would change his behavior in the in the full game. Okay. Now in this with this portal, he he will join you with he will reverse his gravity as well, and oh. he will climb on the on the ceiling. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I mean that's great. It's just scary. Okay, this is not really what I want to do. Yeah, you have to gather that crystal and that was under the bridge. Yeah. I mean, I'm just trying to think how I get how I get there. Do you need to find a different gate now to remove the gravity thingy? Yeah, basically the gates will uh, change the portal. Yeah, right. Well, let's let's search for a gate then. I'm not oh. seeing. Uh, okay. Yeah, I kind I kind of went back there. That's right. No, if you, if you, you you can open the map and teleport when you are not in the air, so you can go to, because I want to show the other portal. Which yes, yeah. So if you teleport to this um, one, to the first one, yes. Okay, yeah. let's go there. Yeah. I'm seeing with a bit of delay. Uh, of course, on, yeah, because you yeah. you only see the stream, right? Yeah. That's okay though. I can I can backtrack if if I miss something there. Okay, now if you go to the right, but uh, down. Down, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're you're going to find another portal. Also, bless you. It's uh, it's my wife. Yeah, I'm used to that. Like my husband also sneezes all the time when I stream, so that's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, here it is, the gate. Yep. Oh, stay still. So, yeah, this is uh, more scary, right? Mm hmm. It was good. No. Stay still to see the shadows. Do I want to see the shadows, though? <laughs> Ooh. So this is this is where we find the spider, huh? Ah, yeah. Great, great. Okay. Ooh. Although if I just run through it, I'm not gonna see it. So that's actually a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> you play this like that as well. Yeah, people. Uh, you either love this portal or or uh, hate it. I mean, I, I like it, but I don't like spiders, so... 
<laughs> have, have a bit of an issue. Yeah, see, I didn't see it, but okay, so we have to see it now. Like, that's actually fine. Just keep on running, keep on running. No, but it's actually beautiful. The whole art style. I like the black and white thing a lot. Yeah. So this is one of of the first mechanics we came out. With. Like, if you move, then something happens with the portal. Mm -hmm. It's great. Yeah. And you're going to reach a section now. Oh. Oh, like I can't see it at all, and I can't use that platform if I don't have the portal yeah. active. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's great. So my strategy of just running through doesn't work. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So probably is not the best for uh, speedrunners. Probably not. But they're, they're going to speedrun this anyway. Yeah, they, they, they are doing on the, on our Discord. Oh, cool. Yeah, so you see now that spider died. Yeah. And that's how you you think of what elements you have in environment in the environment and how mm -hmm. can you use them to to solve the puzzle or go and uh, move forward with the game. Yeah, of course. Oh come on. This is gonna be difficult for me because I'm not very patient. I have <laughs> to be patient with this portal. Yeah, a bit, yes. Should have jumped back again, oh well. But you you are doing really well. Thank you. Oh, I was wondering about that blue thing. Okay. Now we can That's go here. Holder. Yeah. We found another waypoint. And apparently the fragment is to the right. Yeah, we go to the right because on the left there's a difficult part. Just to get to get uh, one of the characters okay. that uh, I was talking about, so it's not really re relevant to the story right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. Oh, it's it's so oh. hot, so hot here. I think they are thirty five degrees. Oh no! Yeah, today is gonna be the last summer day here, so we only get thirty, but it's still it's still too hot for me. I don't like it. Now, where do you live? In Berlin or what city? No, in Vienna. I'm actually from Austria, so I live in Vienna. Ah, okay, 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 okay. But yeah, oh last... my god, I've, I've been in Vienna like in 2006. <laughs> A long time ago. Yeah, true. I, I really like, like the city. Nice. And you're in Romania, right? Yeah, it's actually quite close. Yeah, it is, yeah. Like, like one, two hours of flight or something like that. Yeah, it's not that far, true. We just got the fragment. Perfect. Yeah. So you have the fragment. Basically, there was another fragment where at the anti-gravity portal. Yeah, yeah, I failed that. And, <laughs> and if you take both of them, and if you go to the monolith at that guy, which... If you want to try it more, to take it, I can show you... Uh, an, um, a shortage, how to take it faster. Uh, the other fragment, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah if you teleport there. Yeah. Yeah, let's go there. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, there. You, I can show you how to do it really fast. So do we go but, straight up here? Yeah. So yeah, this, this has me stumped a bit, because I know I need to go down there somehow. You have basically to use inertia from uh, the jumping. It's not really uh, visible here, but in the full game we made it uh, to be more, much more easy to do. But now you can press uh, down and space, and you're going to fall through that platform. I would assume space is jump. That, but if you press down and then space, you're going to fall. That doesn't seem to work on the controller. Wait, I'm gonna... 
No, I can't. I can't fall through here. Oh wait. Oh, I see. That doesn't work on a control though. Do you hear me still? Oh, Discord has issues again. Discord, why? Every phone. Yeah, I think I found a bug. Um, but I have. We have uh, issues with Discord. Change spiders into butterflies, right? It actually tells me I'm disconnected now. What's what's wrong with this? I think we're gonna change the server. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do that. Oh yeah, if you if you're watching the stream, Sergio. Uh, leave the call and I'm going to try a different server because right now we have we have a European server but I can't even send my message wow yeah okay so we just wait for him to leave the call um why fight butterflies good question right we don't really want to want to do that hello I'm connecting Oh, come on, Discord. No, I can't, I can't reconnect again. Uh, when you change, you should be able to switch back to portal mode when falling. Dip down below. But it works, it works Lex without controller. It doesn't work with controller. Leave the call. I'm gonna pick... Okay, perfect. Regen, let's do this. Hello? Yes, okay. Yeah. It seems like Discord has an issue uh, in Europe right now, so I should switch the server to the US. But that should work. Or oh, maybe not. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay, good. <laughs> looks, looks like my colleague is also here. I can call him as well if you want. I mean, yeah, sure. That's all right. Yeah, uh, let me find him. Uh, you need to be friends on Discord. Oh, really? And, and then you should be able to add him to the call, yes. But I will add you, but we are friends on Discord, right? Yes. Ah, you and him, or how? No, you should be able to add him as well, but you need to be friends with, with your colleague. Ah, I am, I am. Because you can only add friends to a group call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. 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 Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you all right. Yeah, yeah. Welcome. I can Hi. hear you as well. I'm Kira. You're live on stream now. Hello. Awesome. <laughs> Hello, I'm Andre. Nice to meet you. It is nice to meet you too. So you're also one of the developers of Unbound Worlds Apart? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. One of the three original developers alongside with Sergio and Olga. I, I think you need bit. to ask earlier, how long have you been working on this game? Uh, we started in 2017 at the beginning. Mm hmm uh, we were working part-time then. Uh, we slowly ramped up and in 2018, Sergio and Olga went full-time. And I also joined them full-time in 2019. That's cool. So it's it's quite a while since we started working on it. True, but I mean, you're a small team and you're doing incredible work on this. Yeah, we've, we've grown uh, lately. We have hired a few more artists because the game has gotten a bit larger than what we planned, then we need more artists to finish it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, am it's amazing so far. <laughs> yeah, you really much. glad, really glad you like <laughs> it. Uh, if you want to go from the platform, just move a little to the left or right and just hold it down and press jump and it, I... it should fall. Yeah, I was saying that earlier. It doesn't work with the controller. It works with the keyboard, but it doesn't... It... Oh. It works with the, with the controller as well, only that you were between two platforms and we have a small bug there. <laughs> oh! Okay, yeah. Yeah, it works. It works to yeah, the right yeah. and it works to the left. <laughs> it, it, does, it doesn't work in the middle though. <laughs> okay, okay, that's good to know. It, it's a very specific bug, but I know it. So. <laughs> I found it, of course I found it. Lovely. <laughs> but you know about it, that's good. Um, let me yeah. just see, because we have, we have two questions here. Yeah. Um. And one of them is too long, I can't actually read all of it. 
No, now I can. Okay. So the landscape is beautiful and there are a lot of interesting animations. Could you talk about... I'm sorry, system requirements. We did that already. Sorry about that. Um, would you consider an ar arachnophobia mode where it changed the spiders into other monsters? For people like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we re we really haven't thought about that, to be honest. And I get it. We we maybe, but probably not not before launch, because we had a lot of, we have a lot of other stuff oh, to certainly, do until then. Oh, certainly, certainly. Uh, and before an, an arachnophobia mode, we w are thinking of a uh, accessibility mode, maybe which yeah. makes the game a bit easier to play in some areas. But again, after the launch, after the initial launch, we'll do that. Yeah. Right. If there are complaints with uh, how difficult it, it uh, is going to be. Yeah. Do, do I keep yeah. the shot? Yes, I did. Okay. Um, accessibility mode is certainly a good thing. I mean, arachnophobia mode. I, I'm really terrified of spiders, but the spiders here right now, they're okay for me. Like, it's manageable. Not they're, not, they're not that creepy. Not friendly either, but not creepy. <laughs> At, yeah, least, now, at least you don't have to like be really close up to them and, and deal with them that way. Now you have to fast travel back to the hub. And see what oh yeah, happens. of course, because we finished the quest, right? Yeah, exactly. So uh, I think the other hub. Yeah. Uh, so that's the prologue about like getting to shards and open that gate. <laughs> it's not much, but... Uh, it gets you in the atmosphere of the game really well. Mm -hmm. Well done, Soli. Yeah. We can finally put the key back together. Now, open those doors. And the door is open. Into the tower. Okay. Ooh, that looks nice. Soli, my dear child, you truly are our last hope. A Rawan has sealed me in here. It falls on you to continue the journey and defeat him. Alas, I am old and feeling weakened, but I can offer you my knowledge. We must defeat him, Soli. You must defeat him. Yeah, Finished so it. Yeah. yeah. You also got an achievement. Yeah, but I missed out on one. Rescue all missing villagers. No! <laughs> Failed. Oh, you but yeah, cool. Yeah. So that's that's the problem about. I I hope you you like it and uh, people are here on our chat also uh, also like the uh, the problem and what they saw you play. Yeah, you are now going to a hard part. I think it's the hardest platforming part in the in okay. this demo. Okay. But yeah. this is this is the villager that I need. Yeah, uh, I think there are three yeah. villagers or four. I, four, I, I four. Can, I, oh, I can't see. remember. So you need two more. I see. Yeah. Okay. One is one is really well hidden in the game. Oh, yeah, I forgot about see. the thingy. Oh. I forgot that when it's dark, I can't really use the platforms. <laughs> yeah, we put uh, we put them white just to see the position in both yeah. words. Yeah, so you don't have to remember, oh, where where was that platform? All right, I mean, you, you don't have to watch me do this now if you don't want to. But chat, do you have any more questions for Sergio and Andre? Do you have any questions about the game? Of, I don't know, development? Anything about yeah. that? Well, I, I have a question. What's your favorite parts of the game that you're working on or have worked on? Well... It's hard to answer. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's hard to choose since we we work on a lot of uh, different stuff and we like them all equally. It's <laughs> quite difficult. Okay, what what comes to mind? Something that's not a spoiler, though. I, I like I like when I'm designing a puzzle. That's really hard to see it. The I, it's there, but you cannot see it. <laughs> Something like it's. Uh, you have to use uh, the portal or think out of the box just to see how the puzzle works. And usually those kind of puzzles are optional because uh, we don't want to put hard puzzle on the main path, you know? I appreciate that. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, if... Oh, 
I cannot see the streaming anymore. Okay. I'm just I'm just failing at that that puzzle here, so okay. no, no worries. <laughs> so um, yeah, we we have those kinds kind of puzzles which are my favorite, but uh, as I said, they are not on the main path because some user might don't have the time just to to try to try them, you know. Mm -hmm. And we want everyone to enjoy the story of the main story of the game. Yeah. Yeah, well, so I, that's think, why I think that's great, yeah. It's accessible for anyone, I think. For me, I think it's similar to Sergio, only that I like some... We have some optional platforming areas, which are really challenging and you need to be on your toes all the time, and I like those more a bit. But they're also optional, they're not on the main path either. But we have a few mm -hmm. of those. Like, if, yeah. you know, if you've played Hollow Knight, then you know the yes. Path of Pain. Yeah. We have some areas similar to that. Okay, cool. So I've played and... Hollow Knight, but I actually did not play the Path of Pain. <laughs> okay, so, uh, basically, uh, also we have we are going to have some uh, secret levels. Let's call them like that. Uh huh. In the game, and if user find them, you have like really hard puzzles, and uh, the spike of difficulty is bigger than what you saw in the main path. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but well, that's cool. So we do have a question, actually. Thank you, Felbia, for reposting it. I don't know why it didn't work in, in the beginning. Um, is killing monsters always necessary to solve some puzzles, or is it optional in some cases? Like, are there ways around some monsters? Uh, yeah, you don't have to kill them. Uh, but there are some puzzles where it's mandatory to kill them, because otherwise you cannot uh, finish the puzzle. Like, there's a, there's a monster on the box, and you need that box to stand on it. So you have to kill the, the the thing that stays on on the box, or there are, yes, there are monsters that you can jump over them and let them live. Yeah, it depends on the puzzle. We have puzzles with multiple options, and we have puzzles with single options. It depends on on the puzzles. We tried to make at least two options for each puzzle, but it didn't quite work out. So. <laughs> Okay, but but some puzzles where you can choose yeah. what you do, yeah. We yeah. we actually had one of the puzzles quite early on in the prologue is, um, we have that weird spider thing with with the hook in the back, um, and you use the portal and then it becomes um a boulder and then you need to move it around. So that one yeah, we didn't yeah, kill, yeah. for example. Yeah. So uh, just like a small spoiler, that monster. Uh dies if he falls uh, to the ground and mm -hmm. he takes damage if the distance is too big yeah and uh, for example we have puzzles like you have to save him not to die and use him as a boss after that to reach some other stuff from that puzzle mm -hmm. yeah yeah yeah, and one thing we don't have in the demo but we'll have in the full game is like mm, small boss fights and while we don't have fighting per se, you'll have to find clever ways to outsmart them and defeat them. Yeah, Sergio said that earlier, and I think that's really I great. I said, oh, sorry. Oh, no, no, that's, <laughs> that's alright, that. don't worry about it. I think that's a really great idea to have boss fights in a game where there's actually no fighting, but you just have to outsmart them, so I really like that. Yeah, so Tiranim asked if you have wall climbing. Uh, we haven't decided yet because if, if we put the wall climb in a puzzle, it's really easy to bypass all yeah. the logic. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, I'm afraid if we put it, it will ruin the game a bit. But uh, oh, what finally. we... Sorry. What we, yeah. What we consider <laughs> is um, the triple jump or my, maybe double, double dash and you have like an, uh, acrobatic movements. But without uh, wall climbing. Yeah. Wall climbing is just with uh, ladders and yeah, those vines. sticky, sticky vines. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course. So I, I just, I just saw something that those, uh, the, the, the goop that drops from, from the ceiling. There's like yeah. wide bars there. Do you see that on yeah. stream? Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, yeah, I'm pretty sure you know that, right? But just... yeah, it's yeah. like a timer. Yeah, yeah of course mostly a placeholder we will change it in the in the final game yeah um there's another question for the full game 
Will you always have only one type of portal or will you be able to switch them? No. So do you always have to go through the gates in order to get a new portal or can you... Yeah, that's no. that's how it works at the moment. Yeah. You only okay. get one portal at, at a time. Uh, we do plan to have an area for the final boss fight where we can use multiple portals and you have to choose between them. But for, for most of the game you'll only have one portal because they all have different abilities and it would be a, like a very hard to design the level design to do the level design to work with like two or three different portals. Just mm -hmm. imagine if you combine like the, this portal and the reverse gravity portal. It will be quite insane to design the levels for that. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, uh, so another question is, do we have what other languages support? Uh, mm -hmm. We plan to we plan to add uh, localization for many languages, as many as we can, and our budget allows. <laughs> but uh, the main languages like German, uh, Russian, Spanish, Japanese, Chinese, that's, mm -hmm. that's yeah. we are going to add. Yeah. Italian, maybe. <laughs> yeah, we will probably do FX plus a few more other languages, around yeah. 10, I think. We right, cool. are not going to have like crazy amount of dialogue in the game, so it's really not an issue to, tra to translate the game. Right, yeah. Yeah. Like, we have a friend that uh, he made a, a point and click game and he had like over 1,100 uh, words in, in the game. And that's insane to translate. <laughs> yeah, of course. Also, I don't really think that it's needed in this game. Well, I, I think it adds a lot. So, yeah, there uh, there are a lot of people who like to play the game in their language, so we respect that then. Oh no, certainly, certainly, but you don't need too much dialogue in this one, I think. Yeah, 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 no. Uh, like, that's no, that's maybe... what I mean, but I mean, uh, translations are obviously needed, yes. Yeah, maybe like uh, 500, 5,000 5, words, yeah, in yeah. the full game. Yeah, so this is much, it's, uh, oh, that's about. <laughs> I don't know if I just cheese this, but you're not supposed to build a portal here, yeah, so I didn't know it's... what to do, but you can actually step on that block. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I, yeah. Mm. Two bugs so far. Don't, don't fix it, don't fix it, I like this one. Yeah, it's like a uh, cheating. Yeah, for the resolution, you, you, you had to pull the box on the right and kill the monster in the spikes. But I hope... Oh, there are spikes here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I knew that, of but course. <laughs> the, the problem, the problem, uh, this prologue that is that we didn't teach you that you can kill monsters. Ah, uh, And this that's is so cool. just, and this is out of the box, you know. And yeah. <clears throat> oh, that's really great. I like it. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. I found another way. <laughs> no problem. The music is created by your artist team or you who develops your soundboard. Well, we are working with a guy. He's like, uh, <laughs> yeah, he's uh, an artist as well, right? And he's going to develop the the music for the game, but he's not part of the, the team. Mm -hmm. Do you want to find the last villager? I do, yes. Yeah, he's somewhere on the right where the water was. The, before, the red water, yeah. Yeah, the before you got, yeah, before you got to the reverse gravity area. We in the full game we have we have a quest where we can. We are going to reveal where are these guys. So if someone wants to oh, that's good. find all the villagers, yeah. No, no, go on top if you're not not in the underworld. Oh yeah, right. So this one yeah. then. Yeah, it's between so, the portals. W will there be um, like shops or so where you can get upgrades? Like in Hollow Knight, for example, you equip something and then you see the secrets. Uh, it it will be mostly like a quest. We don't have upgrades or items in the mm -hmm. game, but it will be like a quest. You do the quest and then you see the optional characters in on the map. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Now, if you fall. Uh... It's actually here. Yeah, it's uh, exactly down. below you. Below me? Oh, I see. 
I'm, I'm not cheating Rainforester. I mean, I'm cheating the game, but I'm not cheating with developers. That's not it. Basically, I'm doing a live cheese test. Oh, do I have to go here? Uh, and you go on the right. And yeah, that's yeah, I saw it. <laughs> Woohoo! Why, why use Unreal Engine in, instead of Unity? Well, because we, we really liked really liked the engine, we like the workflow, and there's a lot of neat stuff in Unreal Engine. Even though there, it's not really made for 2D, but but we got along really well with it. As you can see, the game it, looks, looks it looks great, amazing, absolutely. And Unreal Engine does a lot for that. The post processing effects for in Unreal Engine are really good. We also like C plus plus more than C sharp. <laughs> <laughs> we are used to, yeah, we are used to it, uh, the language, and it's uh, it's more natural for us. I mean, it makes sense to to pick the language that you're more comfortable with or that you know best. But even though yeah. Unreal Engine is not made for for two D stuff, it looks it looks absolutely incredible. Yeah, basically, we we develop the game like it uh, for three D, but we only use two axes. So that's. That's all. Yeah. I think you yeah. finished everything you... I did, yes. Yeah. I did. So I 100 percented the prologue. I'm happy yeah. now. But yeah, if, if anybody's interested in the game Unbound Worlds Apart, you can play the prologue already. It's on Steam. Exclamation mark Unbound in chat. Um, the game will release sometime in the second quarter next year. Most likely. So yeah. wishlist it, have a look out. Uh, there's also a Twitter uh, it unbound the game, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, that's uh, that's our Twitter. Perfect. The, is, that's... is there any anywhere else that um, you want people to like? You want to direct yeah. people to? We can chat more. So basically, on Twitter, we have updates and stuff like that. But we also chat uh, very often with people on Discord. So Discord.gg uh, slash unbound. Mm -hmm. So people can join there and have a chat with us. And uh, the prologue, uh, yeah. If you want to wish list, wish the full wish list the full game, not the prologue, because the prologue eventually will disappear from Steam. <laughs> oh yeah, of course, of course, yes. Because I'm linking yeah. only to the prologue, but you'll, I mean, you you know what the game is called now, so you can find it. But... Yeah. So we have the prologue, and we also have. Uh, I'm not logged in. Oh my god, I'm not logged in. Uh... No, I can link it. It's... Yeah, link it. Yeah. Uh, wait, you can't. Because uh, you're not, not allowed to in. link it. But you, uh, can, oh, okay. you can post it in Discord and I can post the link. Okay. Sure. Thank you. It's, uh... Yeah, we have to protect chat because we have randoms come in every now and then just posting <laughs> links. So. There you go. Yeah, so this is the full game. We also have like buttons from the full game. Oh, from the prologue to wishlist uh, the, the game. Yeah. There's a lot of links from the prologue to the main <laughs> game, so it, it's really easy yeah, to find. Yeah, you, you'll, you'll find it, yes. Unbound, worlds apart, and you, you can't miss it, basically. <laughs> yeah. Great, so are there... we, uh, Yeah, closer to the release, we are going to maybe do another work through, through the full game. <laughs> Although it's like six or seven hours long. Okay. Good. So <laughs> that's going to be a huge stream if you want to. <laughs> I mean, I'll I'll be I'll be happy to to stream it, of course. Yeah. Absolutely, because I I love this game, so it's it's beautiful. I'm intrigued. I will I'll definitely play it. Yes. Might be a bit much in one sitting. We'll see. Normally my streams are about six hours. And if I stream oh, with wow. chats, I probably take longer than, than your seven hours to finish the game. But I mean, two streams. Could yeah, do that. We can do that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Are, are there any more questions from you, chat? Anything else you want to know? Ask Sergi and Andre about the game, about, I don't know, developing a game. Have you been to, to Gamescom before? I haven't. I mean, uh... Oh, you haven't? Okay. No, I wanted to. Like, this would have been my first Gamescom, but that didn't happen. Yeah, um, so obviously, I'm... from reasons like yeah. funding. So, so I'm glad <laughs> the... the... <laughs> Bless that again. 
Oh, she, she's a great addition to the stream. Um, yeah. <laughs> we, we, so if you, if you, can someone pose the sneeze emote, please? Because since my husband sneezes so much, we actually have a sneeze emote, which is perfect. Um, so yeah, I'm glad uh, that the Indie Arena booth is actually doing this online thing now where you can um, make an account as a developer or like a, a press person and get yeah, into yeah. contact with each other. That's how, how we did it, basically. So thank you for reaching out. I appreciate that. Um, so you would have been at Gamescom as well uh, as your first time, or have you presented this game already last year? We actually were there in 2017. Okay. Yeah, so a long time ago. Oh, that nice. was our, our first and only game, Gamescom. I mean, we wanted to participate this year as well, but yeah. <laughs> as you know, the situation really didn't allow for it. Yeah, true. Well, hopefully next year with a finished yeah. game. Maybe. Yeah, that that yeah. would be amazing. That's that's our target. <laughs> That'd be great. Yes. Yeah. Which which software do you use for creating the two D animations? Uh, for most of the animations, we use Spine. Uh, Spine. Spine from it. Yeah, yeah Spine two D from Esoteric Esoteric Software, I think it's called. And some of them are made by frame by frame, but for most of them, we use Spine because it's easier to change down the line if you want to make an update. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you do traditional animation, it's really hard to. Uh, if you want to change the animation, it's really hard to do it after that, because you have to take all the frames and uh, redraw them. Yeah. And that'd be a nightmare for the animator. Yeah. Incredible. Uh, I I I'll go now because I have to do some shopping. <laughs> oh, absolutely! Yeah, thank you so much for joining me. Um, yeah. And, um... uh, Thank Pre you for presenting your game, answering questions. Thank you so much, and and good luck with the rest yeah. of development. Thanks for having oh, us. Oh, I have I have a question. What's my favorite part of the game? Uh, the final. <laughs> okay, the no final, spoilers, the final please. Battle. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> okay, but the final. So, just yeah. just a quick question: Have you finished with the story now? Like, do you do you know the plot points? You know what's going to happen, how it's going to yep. end? Yeah, we, we do. We do. Okay. Yes. Okay, good. Everything yeah. is set in place. We have uh, a really, really beautiful story. But Amazing. We, don't, yeah. we are not going to spoil it. Yeah, please, please don't. I don't want this. So, yeah. And I think everybody else who is interested in the game now wants to play it for themselves. So, yeah. yeah but great. as I, I mentioned when we started the stream, the, the story from the prologue is. Uh, it's changed. Uh, yeah. It's changed. Yeah. Yeah. We were working with the writer now. He, he's, he's. Yeah, uh, I, I, I said that. Yeah. Oh, you said that. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. No, it's all right. Because people just, you know, drop by the chat, uh, drop by the stream, so yeah. they might not have heard it in the beginning. But yeah. So the the story changed a lot, and I think it's actually great. It's one of our. Uh, now it became one of our strength uh, for the game. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. Well, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you so much for joining me Thank on stream, answering yeah. questions. You've got a great game there, so... Thank you. Yeah. Thank you as well. well. I hope to talk to um, you soon. Have a great yeah. time. Bye, everyone. Bye. Have a great time okay, as well. And thanks for having us. And okay, thank you. good luck with Gamescom. Bye-bye. <laughs> thanks, bye. Bye, bye. All right. Well, that was cool. That was really cool. I <laughs> made the chair be with you in the rest of the development, right? <laughs> Oh, great. Great. But yeah, I liked it. I liked it. What do you think? I, I saw a couple of people saying that they also download the prologue now and they're going to play it as well. I hope you enjoy it. It is, it is a short prologue, but at least you get something to play for free to just, you know, see the art style, get to know the mechanics, even though the story is going to be changed, but that's okay. I actually like that. It's, it's like Ori and the Will of the Wisp, where you play the demo, but the demo is actually not in the game at all. I like that. It was lovely. Yes, I agree. I like that. It was cool. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed that format. It was it was cool. So that's the second time I did this now. The first time was last year in October during Game City, which is the um, Viennese gaming convention that we have. But I did that there, basically. So it wasn't on my channel. It was on um, Radio FM 4's channel. I had an, an indie dev with me on stream, basically talking about the game, same as we did here, playing the demo, talking about it, asking questions, and I really, really like that format. It's pretty amazing. 
Um, so yeah, are you doing, planning on doing similar interviews in the future? I mean, if if the uh, possibility arises, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. It's great, right, Rainforester? Because it's easy to discover new games. You can just, I mean, the easiest way is use Steam's Discovery Queue, right? Or if you if you're interested in Gamescom and indie games, there is the Indie Arena booth. Let me just. Unfortunately, the music stops while playing. Um, indie Arena booth. I'm, I'm just gonna link that because that's open for everybody as well. You just need to make uh, create an account. Online in the arena booth. This is it. And then you can walk around the virtual Gamescom and check out new indie games, for example. So it's easy to check out new games, but actually talk to developers about, developers about it and ask questions. That's what a convention is for, right? But unfortunately, we don't get this this year. So there's the online version. Shiva, thank you for the bits now. I appreciate it. You didn't have to. But also, thank you for not disrupting the interview earlier. It's very kind of you, thank you. Hope you're doing well, having a good Sunday. Hi, SBS, and hi everybody else who I haven't haven't talked to really. But yeah, different formats calls for different chat interaction. As absolutely, I agree. Having the devs here talking oh here. Uh talking with them about the game was was pretty nice. So yeah, um the the um in the arena booth from from gamescom so i've been in, in contact with a couple other developers as well i'm not gonna have them on stream like we did just now but i'm gonna present to you a different game on tuesday um actually i mean we have a couple more minutes right let's just i'm just gonna show you what we're gonna do on tuesday then but it's on epic so i actually have to google it wait Foregone game. Foregone. It's a roguelite. Wait, it actually has a Steam page. That's odd. I couldn't find it earlier. So it has a Steam. Why am I not? <laughs> Why am I not opening it on Steam if there's a Steam page? Kiri. Let's see this. Foregone. Odd. There it is. Okay. Can I zoom in here? I cannot. But anyways, full gone. Um, a platformer as well. Oh, maybe it's not. Oh, it's not even a roguelite. I'm sorry, it's not a roguelite. It's just a platformer. Pixel art, two D. Um, it's a fast, fluid two D action platformer packed with legendary loot and stunning pixel art. Collect an arsenal of powerful weapons and unravel a compelling story of regret and conspiracy as you slice your way through hordes of enemies to save Callaghan. This is what it looks like. We're going to play that on Tuesday, the second half of the stream. And also I have keys to give away for this one. And I only found this through Gamescom as well. So it's, it's pretty nice talking to developers um, about the new games. And there are so many amazing indie games coming out. Hi there, Dong Fail. How are you doing? Hope you're having a great Sunday. So yeah, if you're interested in indie games, uh, which I assume you are to a certain extent if you're watching the stream, check out the um, indie arena booth from Gamescom online. It does look really interesting. I haven't tried it yet, but I got the game. So we're going to do that on Tuesday. And I've got four games. I think it's four games to give away as well. If, you, if you're interested in that, I'm going to do that on Tuesday. But there's many other amazing indie games out there. Just... Just have a look. Have a look, it's pretty cool. Although I have to say that the online in the arena booth, they made it so that it's kind of like an MMO-ish thing. So you actually, you make a character and then you walk around with that. But it's not really intuitive and it's laggy and you can't really click on everything. So the idea is great, but how they made it is not amazing. But still, you can you can have a look at new games at least. All right, with that, I'm just going to start with a couple minutes earlier. Thank you so much for hanging out, um, being here with me, checking out the new game. Um, well, soon to be new game. It's not released yet. Unbound Worlds Apart. We played the prologue 
it has achievements which is kind of nice but if it's gonna vanish at some point they probably don't count um but yeah check it out if you're interested wishlist the full game um it's gonna come out in the second quarter next year and perfect i don't really have anything else to say have a great weekend everybody i stream again tomorrow i start at 1 p.m utc plus 2 and we're gonna play probably civilization 6 because it got a new update a huge august update and then we're gonna play struggling maybe i'm gonna wait i'm gonna quickly show you struggling still struggling have you played this already on a double uh yesterday no friday friday so this is struggling it's it's basically like heave ho you just you this blob with two arms and you need to try and traverse the levels and we're going to play that with mystery together so we're going to do that tomorrow and this also got released during during gamescom now so we yeah i'm going to play great games new games next week for now enjoy the rest of your weekend we're going to raid someone let me have a look we're going to raid Thank you everybody so much for hanging out, for supporting, for asking questions because it's there's there's hardly anything worse than having people here to answer your questions and no one asks questions so thank you for doing that. Let's see who's streaming and doing things and such. I have an idea already, we're just gonna see what they're doing right now. Okay. Oh, okay. That's Overwatch. Now nah, we're go we're gonna go somewhere else. It's alright. Um, yeah, you got the raid message. Copy it. Co copy it. Get ready. Mystery cope wholesomeness. I hope it's gonna be wholesome. It might not be because it might be stressful. We might scream at each other, right? So, <laughs> but I promise entertainment. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Let me see who's streaming, doing the things. Well, you know, what day is it? What day is it? Because then you know where we're going to go. Struggling is wholesome now. No, it's not wholesome. It's going to be gross, uh, gross and just icky. But it's going to, yeah. I'm not going to scream at you. I might scream at mystery if we just, you know, and yeah, we're going to be fine. We, we survived overcooked. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna raid Bloody Drongo because it's Sunday. And the other person I wanted to raid is playing Overwatch, which is not really. Nah. Nah. Bloody Drongo. So, copy the raid message. Get ready. Thank you for hanging out again. I appreciate it. I hope you had fun and enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I will see you tomorrow. If not, you know, you can always find me in the disc on the in the Discord. On Discord, you can find me in discord i don't know let's say i am um, no i can't say that discord is a thing join it i can also follow on twitter follow on instagram subscribe on youtube and yeah thank you i'll see you soon let's go raid drongo welcome